Let's go ahead first to gate to NiFi registry um, web page and download the NiFi registry software. So I'm gonna go to this URL. Again, I don't want to get there. I'm gonna highlight it. And what you want to do, you want to download the zip. I already did done that, so I'm not gonna go and download again the zip. But what I'll do, I will go back to my command line and uh, in my source folder, like you guys remember when we install NiFi, we also downloaded NiFi registry. So what I'll do, I'll unzip this and put it in my opt NiFi registry. All right, so we're gonna zip the content in that file, in that folder. Now we're gonna go back, go to the NiFi registry. Let's jump into this one and move everything. All right, now let's get rid of the, the old folder. Cool. Now let's go over the configuration parts first. So let's talk a bit about the configuration. And here we have this uh, bootstrap comp, which like in NiFi case, it's used to a service startup and you can set some um, local uh, folder location. That's here. The graceful shutdown is gonna wait for 20 seconds before it starts killing the thread. In the memory you allocate this is important depending on the size of your registry so those are your basic uh, parameters. we're not going to touch any of those what we're going to do next we're going to look into nifi registry property so here what's i think is the most important one we're going to look at the uh the port path so this is the port that nifi will nifi registry will be reached and for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it as it is. Now we're gonna travel to our bin directory. Right. So we're gonna go into our bin directory, and here we're gonna use the command uh, nifi run nifi registry. Uh, actually, no, it's not Windows. It's in Mac. So we're gonna use nifi registry and let's actually look see what are the options so you can see we can start stop run restart status dump or install so what we're going to do in this case we are going to start this is going to start our nifi registry at port uh let me just go here uh, at port 18080 we didn't touch that eight that that uh, configuration so everything it's a default let's just go back and jump into our logs we look at the the structure is similar to nifi so here at the logs we can if you have any issues at startup you can query the logs and get more information if you want to debug so right now you can see that the nifi registry is available for us at this URL. so let's go ahead and open this URL. All right, so this is the the default um, entry page. So if you see pretty much nothing, you have a bucket. You can travel to NiFi registry here, and uh, you can see that we're logged in with anonymous because we haven't enabled a secure NiFi registry location. But what we're gonna do here as our first action, we're gonna go to this uh, to this key here, and first what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new bucket, and we're gonna call this bucket uh, registry demo, and you can give it a description. Uh, let's give it a description, and then we're gonna press create. Right, now we have a bucket. We can go in the bucket and also edit its permission. We can make this public, public, 
we can uh, allow bundles overwrite uh, and we right now we don't have any policy to attach to this uh, particular bucket okay you looking at the design all right we have the registry how do we make an ifi aware of our registry so for this tutorial i've set up three instances of nifi running on my local host uh, and if we look into our terminal and let's actually go back to our opt and you see here i have this three installation i have nifi both two and three and i have i have two three separate installs that will pretty much emulate our um let me just close this dev staging and prod so we have our production you can see here i've added the, i've edited the banner here to call us prod this is our default installation where we did the previous tutorials on and then i have my developing environment set i also have my staging environment now let's go ahead and connect this uh, NIFI installation with our repository. So the way you do that, you're gonna go to your global menu here or the burger menu, and you're gonna go to controller settings. You're gonna have to do this with all instances. And here you have this option here, registry clients. And I'll, what I'll do, pressing on the plus button, here um, it's gonna ask you for a name for this registry. So we're gonna call it uh, local local registry now you're gonna paste the url to the registry all right and we're gonna add it that's all you have to do so what i'll do i'll jump into the other now all three environments are now connected to the NIFI registry or at least that's what's supposed to be all right so let's go into our dev environment and let's say i want to create a new flow so what you want to do NIFI will not version a single uh component so if you go here there's no option to say oh i want to version this component so what you have to do, let's remove this one. What you have to do, you have to create a process group. So we're gonna say, um, let's think about a name, uh, flow one. Very, <laughs> very smart name. So if you see here, we already get some extra options. We can import something from, an, from the registry. So let's, let's click on this one and see what happens. So, we can choose the registry so we see we have the, and now he can he will list the buckets that we have there so if we go back to our um, registry here you can see that's the name that uh, he displayed for us but we do not have any flows or uh, yeah any save flows here since this is a new one so let's go to our dev environment here i'm gonna click and a process group uh, let's get back with our nice name here all right cool now that we have this one again there is there is uh, uh, if you see here we're gonna get a um, new item on our menu when you click right so it gives you the option say version and you say start version control that's where we're gonna say okay do my first commit into my code repo so the flow name is going to be flow one uh let's give it a description this is my description and you're going to choose where in what in what bucket you're gonna you're gonna save it and virtual that version come comment so let's say initial commit cool now if you see something happen we get a, a green check saying that hey um you are up to date with your current flow and uh, the registry acknowledged that he received the data or the code behind it so if we go here and let's refresh this page 
Now, jumping in the bucket, actually, let's go to the user. We can see now when we go to the main menu, uh, we have a flow that is listed. And pretty much that's the name, that's the name of the flow. If we click on it, it gives us some information, the bucket identifier, the flow identifier. So that's pretty much the UUID of the, um, let me just go here. The UUID of the, um, of this process group and the comments, initial comments. We can, here what we can do, we can import new version, export version, or delete the flow itself. But now let's see, assuming um, I'm happy with whatever I did here. So let's say this is what we want to promote to the next environment. If you look at it, if you look at the design, we are here. Our work is done here. We're registered with the uh, knife I want to use staging to actually import those changes. So let's go to staging here and I'm going to click right, actually not click right. We're going to drag on the canvas a process group. And now this time we're going to import it from the registry. So you can see he found the registry, he found the bucket and the flow and the version. Now let's say import. All right. So we have this. So dev staging, good. But let's say we want to go back and make some changes into dev environment. I want to add a component here. So let's say I want to generate the flow file and then, I don't know, update the attributes are kind. All right, cool. So let's link this together. And now you see something change. Actually, let's leave the, let's leave the process and get on the main canvas. You see right now we get a signal here saying, hey, you have changes that you have not yet committed. So let's go ahead and say, okay, I'm happy with my changes. I've tested my code and um, we can commit local changes or we can see the local changes. So this gives you a descriptive information. Okay, what was changed and more information about uh, whatever you did. Now we say commit local changes. Uh, Commit to very meaningful <laughs> commit message. All right, cool. Now we're up to date in there, but what about staging? If we do a refresh here, nothing happens because you know the base of the code was committed. So now staging process does not have the responsibility to automatically go and fetch. So what we're going to have to do is, let's say somebody developing in development environment and they want to promote changes in staging, that will not be done automatically. We have to go and pull those changes. So here in version, click on the, actually let's go in here. If we go inside it at the same time or outside, you can see the status changes. It tells us, hey, um, something change into the base of your code. You are not up to date with the latest version that we have in the flow file, when in the flow in the uh, uh, night five registry. So it gives you an indicator. You can also see it in the top end. So what you want to do here, if you want to come up to, you can pretty much leave it as it is if you don't want to, if you want to import the changes, but if you want to import the changes, you can go to change version. And here you can see that your current version is one, and there is a new version that was added to the registry. I'll select this one and then say change. So right now what will happen, um, the schema registry will pretty much uh, do its work. NiFi or this instance of NiFi will go to the NiFi registry and pull the changes. So that's how we use NiFi registry to move data flows from one side to another. Um, now in production, we can do the same, you know, now that we're happy with development and staging, I want to push this into production, the same approach, drag the process group, import from registry, and now we can choose the version. 
automatically I'm going to go with the latest because I'm happy with it import and now happy days you can see that we have the same flow added to our um, environment using NiFi registry there are some things that I would say NiFi registry can add in the future changes like let's say All right, now let's review what we talked in this uh, video tutorial. We, got, we saw how we can install NiFi registry. We talked about what's the use case for NiFi registry. We saw how we can integra in, uh, integrate it with each of our three instances and how we can go to development stages. Um, you by using NiFi registry to push our changes from one environment to another much faster than us doing a template and import templates um, all that jazz which is really let's say uh, error prone okay cool so that's a wrap for this video i hope you guys enjoy this content and uh, if so give me a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please do so if you if you like to follow the content there's more to come and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.